Good morning, good morning, good morning. Festy Man reporting. It's this special report today. Um, I haven't been on for a little while. The weekend I went to the uh, Southampton Tattoo Festival. They had custom cars, they had custom bikes there. The morning started off, the weather wasn't too good. Yet again, I took Mr. Mark Richards. He was playing with 56 Killers. We got there and the weather wasn't too good. But, you know, the crowd was good and uh, we milled around. And we watched people having their tattoos out in public. Um, you know, just... It's whether you want them or not. That there's my tattoos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, they haven't been removed. It takes a lot of time and a lot of pain. Anyway, the weather, the day continued. The weather got better. Excellent. Um, got to see Blackwater County, not Backwater Roll. We'll talk about them in a minute. Blackwater County, um, Irish folk, but with a bit of punk in them. Um, I've put some videos up absolutely brilliant uh the modern twist on it and everything just tight together band but loads of fun uh, just my sort of thing and i found out they're actually headlining wonky donk on saturday and this is what i'm getting around to after that marvelous performance on uh, sunday 56 killers came on i must admit when i saw them a couple of weeks ago at the codependence thing creedy creole more i wasn't too keen but different atmosphere they fit well. It was great. It was lively. The front man, he's got all the cockney. Well, I don't, is he London or not? I don't know. But it was good. You know, he talks to the crowd. He tries to get them up dancing. He says, yeah, you haven't done it, mate. But I know you will. I know you will. So, yeah, it was good. Junko Shakers, come on. They're getting better and better and better. Wonderful crowd there. All my new friends. Um, Facebook, maybe. But it was great. So, try to blag a ticket for... Wonky Donk. Now, Wonky Donk is possibly, uh, amongst the crowd, the Festi family, is the one to go for. The other week, I missed Blissfield. A bit more expensive for me. I'm on my bones and my ass at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. So I didn't do it. But again, apparently, I missed something really good. But a bigger one, about 4,000 people. Wonky Donk, I think, is about three, 400 people. But it's a small venue, so the place is rammed. And from what I've heard, it is the best one to go to. It's Hawkeye Hulahan. Uh, it's G there. Um, Lexi Riversong, Lexi, thank you very much, because I now am one of the artist liaison team. Very important person. I am a very important person. I have to vet the artists as they come in. I have to strip search them. Well, the good-looking girl. Well, no, 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 that's not true. That's not true. But basically, I just say, who are you? Are oh, we the band, right? Give them the wristband. Um, your name's not down. You're not coming in. You know, any freeloaders coming in. I am the muscle there. Um, I get to wear a pink T-shirt. Very, very nice. I rock it in pink. I tell you, I've got a beautiful Ralphie shirt. Pink, lovely. I do look the mutts nuts. So, anyway, this Friday, it starts wonky donk. I am looking forward to it. And the weather is supposed to be beautiful so yeah it's Lichit Matravers again we've been there before we've been there for Callum Fest we've been there for Dark Holler we'll be there for Acoustic Movement later on really really looking forward to it. know that there's all the Festy family are going um, I'm on the gate with Jill Jilly Jilly I've just forgotten you sir Masterman Masterman so you know I've met before it's going to be a giggle it's going to be a right the other thing is right okay it was and Devil in the Deep Blue Sea. Which one shall I go for? The Horns of a Dilemma. My favourite boys. Backwater Roll Blues Band. Best. They were the best in the country. They're best in the world now. They are... They were going to be recording their new album this weekend in the Platform Tavern. It's only small, but it's cosy and the sound is great. But special guest star. John Amore from The Hoax. Um, you know, it's going to be a brilliant night. So if you're not doing Wonky Donk... Do yourselves a favour, get down to the Platform Tavern on Saturday night. Get there early because it's going to be rammed. It's going to be absolutely rammed. It's going to be a brilliant night. The boys are on fire at the moment. And that's why I'm gutted that I'm not going to be there. But wonky donk, I've got three days. Um, I'm going to keep the drinking to a minimum because... Let's, look, 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 it's going, it's going, guys. Um, I'm going to be have the full effect. Look, I've just, sorry, I've let myself go a little bit. The air's grown. I'm growing my roots out. <laughs> uh, no, I've just been a bit lazy lately. These are my old work glasses. Now, look at this. Can you see a little dent there? Can you see that? Yeah, so they will be going. Contacts, false teeth, trim. I think I'm going to trim the beard. Red or dead again. I'm going to be looking the bollocks this weekend, okay? So, festy man, over and out. Oh, before I go, 
There was one other thing as well, another festival which rivals Wonky Donk, Gabe Fest. Gabe Fest Day, that's coming up next month in August. That's gonna be the big do in August. There's gonna be several others. It, it clashes with Bestival. Bollocks to Bestival. Get yourself down to Gabe Fest. It's in Durley. For all you fellow Setonians, it's five miles away. So you can come home for your shower. You know, your pretty curly hair. Don't worry about it. Go home and come back. Get your boyfriend to take you. Or your girlfriend. Or whatever. Jump in a cab. Jump on the back of a tractor going past. Get there. It's going to be brilliant. And the weather, I can tell you now, is going to be stunning. Sun cream. Sun cream. Baby stuff. Factor 30. High. That's for me, okay? Some of you other people might not need it. Some of you albinos might need more. You need, like, everything on, wouldn't you? Complete cover. Burka. <laughs> yeah, so if you can see like a lot of people walking around in burkas. It's not exactly going to be Muslims. It could be possibly albinos protecting themselves from the sun, okay? No racism, okay, lads? Girls? Why did I say lads? That's how condescending of me. Because... Anyway, I'm just getting off the subject. I'm losing the plot. We all know that. Right, so it is now Wednesday morning. I am in Ropley, just over there. I can't see it, but I know it's there. The Watercrest Line. Oh my goodness, the Watercrest Line. I have, for those of you who know me, you go back to last year, uh, Dayton Site Woes, the Watercrest Line. Funny, 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 lovely, romantic story, okay? So, yeah, the memories are flooding back. Um, it's made me smile, um, as it should do. Uh, right, beautiful morning, and I'm just about to set off back to Southampton. I've been in New Alsford uh, the evening. I've been with my cousin. He's over from Bali. We've had a great catch-up, lots of beerment and um, <laughs> lock-ins, literally a lock-in. They wouldn't serve us in the bus, so I'll go over in that room, and he said, well, I've got to go off now. I'm going to lock up. Bloody locked us in. Locked us in this room. <laughs> we had to escape the hotel, go all the way around back. Anyway, long story short, I'm off now, guys and girls. Okay, so remember, this weekend, wonky donk. There may be some tickets on the door. Get on Facebook, get hold of the Hawkeye Hulahan and see if you've got any tickets because it is going to be stunning. Bestie man, over and out. Peace out. <laughs>